What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. We are doing some modern, uh, modern deck commissioned by Alistair Kane, a uh, friend of mine from Utah, and uh, we're playing some Warp World. Only three Warp Worlds? God, that's unbelievable, man. That's unbelievable. I feel like you just have four, right? Just put the fourth in there. Stop being a baby about it and just put four Warp Worlds in. I mean, it costs eight mana, man. I guess. <clears throat> Either way. Um, four Primeval Titans, three Warp Worlds, three Siege Gang, one over Ogre, Ogre Battle Driver, which is great. Um, because it gives all the creatures that you Warp World into haste and plus two plus O. Oh. Uh, so Rival Masters, Tireless Trackers, all of these little guys. And we have the, the your traditional eight uh, one mana, you know, ramp spells, which gets you into like Rival Master or Tireless Tracker. Originally, uh, Alistair Kane had three Blood Moons instead of Tireless Tracker, but he mentioned that it might be a metagame call. And I think Tireless Tracker, I like it a lot because when you Warp World into it, all the lands get seen at the same time, so you're going to make a bunch of clues. Um, then you have Elvish Visionary and Four Lotus Cobra to Eternal Witness to get back Warp World if it gets countered. And then Four Robb Masters because it's making tokens. Um, have you considered Legion War Boss over Robb Master? And the reason I ask is because the tokens don't have to attack. Oh yeah, so you can you can warp world then eternal witness then go warp world back. So right, also that's another option. Sure, that's pretty good too. But um, either way, Robo Master seems totally fine. I mean, I think the pump from if you have ogre War, ogre battle driver and Robo Master, Robo Master is probably going to be decent. But if you're hasting and attacking the first turn it's in play, I guess if you get a siege gang command, I mean like, is there a spicy one of Valakut? No. Okay. All right, let's see what we can do here. I'm going to join. Yeah, I don't think there's enough mountains. It's also like, you'd have to hit that one Valica, but also like six mountains. Well, you have Prime Titan. That's true, I guess. Oh, yes, we're doing it. I will play first. Oh, snap. Snap it off. See, I like it getting Arbor Elf down sooner, but I also like the fact that Utopia Sprawl can't just be killed. So the fact that we're trying to guarantee a Ravel Master on turn two means I'm just going to go Utopia Sprawl. And I'm also going to say red here because Warp World is triple red, so. Is it? I, that's what I've heard. Huh. That, is my, that is the impression I'm under. That's the impression that I get to... Bam, 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 oh, you know that, Chan? Have you ever felt close to tragedy? You feel close to those who have... No! Uh, in regards to your sleep machine, Kerwitz said the first time I used it, it felt awkward, like it didn't match up with my breathing. I remember waking up in the morning, and it felt a little more natural. So. Oh, they're playing the, uh, the Elementals deck, it looks like. Well, I guess this guy's... I mean, are we going to try to trade with Corsair? The alternative, they eat, they eat a goblin. I don't think they're going to... I don't know if they're going to get rid of their Corsair for this. They, it turns out they are. So they have Risen Reef next turn. That seems fine. I'm just going to crack this now and get a Stomping Ground. If we can draw a Primeval Titan or a Warp World, I would be very, very grateful. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have tons and tons of lands. Why is this deck playing Snow Basics? Uh, because they have Ice Fang Kotal. Oh. You know that guy? You know Ice Fang Kotal? Yeah. I'm just going to Alpha here, because if they want to trade a Risenry for an Arbor Elf, that's 100% fine. I don't think they do because Risen Reef is very, very good. Very, very big, Look, very, very good one pound fish. That's racist. Why? Just stop it. Blood Braid Elf into Flame Can Harbinger. Yep, they're Why just playing. Blood Braid Elf in this deck? Because it hits all of your cards. What problem is? Did you say what problem is? Yeah. Don't you, don't you want it to hit your cards? 
Wait, what did you say about Bloodbraid Elf? Like, why isn't we playing it? Oh, why aren't we playing it? Yeah. Oh, I thought you said, why is Bloodbraid Elf in this deck? And I was like, because it hits all their cards. And you're like, what problem is? And I'm like, I don't know. You asked. Never. Oh, wait. Can we do that? Can we play a land this turn? Uh, one, two, three. Oh, God. We're one shy. That's a real bummer. Right, untapped for two, untapped for four, five. Yep, that's a bummer. That's a real bummerino. We only have three cards in hand, though. And no real engines on board. That's good, but... Lightning Bolt. Oh, that's so sad. If we can just hit a, uh, a Warp Roll, I'd probably just play it. Huh. So we can do the same thing we did last turn, only this time we can... Four, six, one, two. So we can... Oh, that's too much mana. So, right, we can play this guy... Untap this, tap it, untap this, tap it, uh, we can play this for the turn, and Primeval Titan, and we're going to actually crack this after we get two more lands out of the deck, oh yes, let's get Wooded, Windswept, One time. Nope, that ain't it. All right. Still good. Still good. We're still doing all right. With these plugins. Oh, stop. Why would you just start playing automatically? I don't understand. I'm so confused. I mean, they can attack with their 1 1 bird, but that's pretty much it. God, stop killing my tireless tracker. Okay, so we have to just hit a Warp World here, right? Like, it's just... Lotus Kubra. I don't even know about playing Warp World here. They have more permanents than we do. Oh, God. Warp World might be terrible in this matchup. Ironically. Rebel Master. It's a little awkward. I guess other things uh, are I don't want to attack with Primetime because they have two Death Touch creatures. So I'm not sure if actually, but maybe Primetime's just big enough that I don't care. I think we should actually use Alpha here. Um, let's get these again because we're just gonna just gonna thin everything so much. I mean, if they block like that, they still take five, which I'm okay with. So you're taking seven, you're going to one? Well, that just seems terrible. Let's get a forest. And a mountain. And a cobra. And I kind of want to play lands each turn just because if we warp rolled, we want to be able to play a land on the turn we warp rolled as well. So we want to maximize the number of lands we have. So they're at one life. I think we're both like kind of out of gas. <laughs> well, that's not going to do it. Boshi. So they're probably going to just block a 1-1, one, one, block here. They're probably just going to kill this, right? 
They have to block everything, right? We have five guys, they have... I'm game. Bloodbraid Elf kind of has to block Rival Master, yeah. Risen Reef has to block Lotus Cobra. And now we just get to trade with everything else, which is, I think, just fine. I'm going to crack these, these fetch lands before we untap. Stomp Arena. And stop arena, sure. Okay. <laughs> oh, they're just dead. Two goblins. Oh god, what is this? A hate Oh wow. <coughs> Lightning bolt and a bird of paradise for the goblin tokens. Seems good. Oh boy. Courser? Wow, that's a good hit. That's a real good hit. Oh wow. That value. Season Pyromancer on top? Oh jeez. Wow, they're attacking too? Very aggressive. Alright, well we're gonna crack this, get the last stomping ground. One time something good. That's not that's not it. Yeah, CG and Rano. Get him. CG can be great. We have one, we have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Sixteen permanent. They have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Twelve. Maybe fourteen. Where am I? What day is this? Buddy, I ask myself that every day. Every day? Every day, Michael. Dang. Every Michael yes, day. Dang. Also, it's September, guys, so if you guys haven't done so, feel free to subscribe to the channel for 250. Or if you're gifted a sub, feel free to continue that sub for 250. Smell this and let me know what you think of that. What do you think of the smell of that, dude? They discarded in a braid and another courser of crucifix. It's definitely fruit punch, but it has like an afternote of no, weirdness. No, it's it smells terrible. It smells like medicine. Have you tried it yet? Rob tried it. It said it's terrible. It's really? a tutti frutti one, right? Yeah. How that just smells just terrible. All right, so they're at three life now. Wow, another seasoned pyromancer. Jeez, I think we just died because of this unbelievable train of value that they've just accumulated. Yeah, we're definitely blocking here. Alright. That's not the worst. Yeah, that's not great. Rob said it was absolutely terrible. Warp World. Siege Gang! Can we do it? I put a very it? little amount in though. One, two, three, four, five. Wow, that might that might do it. Are we just Siege Ganging them forever? Wow, that's insane. Oh no, they kill it in response. Wow, that's so good. What's better, putting them at putting them to one or just killing one of their threats more at seven? It's gotta be one of the threats. One pledged drive buck. What does that mean? Yeah, they just kill it with the trigger on the stack. One, two. Sacrifice to itself. Kill the blood braid elf for now. That should keep us alive at the very least. Oh, we get the three goblins too. Well, dang it. Well, still feeling fine. Wow, a third season pyromancer. So your draws have been blood braid elf, seasoned pyromancer, seasoned pyromancer, seasoned pyromancer, blood braid elf, courser of crufix, courser of crufix, ice fang codal, and a braid. That's that's pretty good. Yeah, it's not bad. You were doing a pledge drive? <laughs> yeah. Well, I guess they only hit noble hierarchy here, so that's good. 
Congrats on these draws. I don't expect to win when, when you draw like this. Oh, baby, when you draw like that. I mean, we have a lot of live draws, I think. Do we? Warp Bolt is good. Is Bolt in this deck? My dad's in the deck. They got three blockers, so they're not going to die no matter what. Is Bolt in this deck? Mm -hmm. No, we don't have any Bolts, unfortunately. Oh. It's not a permanent, correct? What, Lightning Bolt? Yeah, that ain't a permanent. But it could be. I'll just block these spicy you boys. You will be. That's your favorite card. And that's the game. Right? Like we go block, block, and they're drawing this, so it's two more damage. Yep. Oh, I don't think it's the three lightning bolts that killed us. I think it's this literal chain of non-stop value that they had. Even Like, we, we actually evened the board up, and then they're just like, gas, 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 and we're like... Mushroom, we... mushroom. Like, we drew one of these, one of these... None of any of these or these. Literal zero of these 11 cards. We draw like two of these guys. We draw all three of the tireless trackers. I don't think we're boarding anything in. Like, they have tons of basics, so Blood Moon's not great. They're not targeting us with a ton. I feel you're right about the Legion War Boss thing. The Legion War Boss. attack sucks. Right, like, if you can just keep your goblins on board and just get one every turn, it's good. But... I don't know, man. I just work here. Yeah, okay. I'll give it a... I'll give it a try. Let's turn to Robin Master. I don't, I don't think they're going to kill our guys, so... If we can draw a fetch land, it's actually a turn to Lotus Cobra and Robin Master, so... Would you mind updating this? Oh, um. Uh, yeah. Give me a second. Fetch land. Oh, goal! Lotus Cobra. And a black mana. By that I mean a red mana. Crack it. See, that time we were like, if we draw a fetch land, it's very good. Okay, yes. Another red. This one. Rabbies. Get them. Get them. Oh, the Blood Moons are Tireless Tracker. Save it. Streaming. Stream Decker. I think the game's already over. I think we've won. A bold prediction. I mean, this hand's pretty rough. What's up, Hardest of Core? Uh, browsing for file. Warping of Worlds. Okay, should be updated. Rootbound Craggles. Do, 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 do. See, now both these guys got to attack, and it's just sad times. Are you just watching the fidget spinner in your No. Hand? Yes. <laughs> oh, boy. No. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana right now. We can't even cast a Warp World. Let's just top deck um, Primeval Titan. Does that sound good? Is everybody okay with that? Oh, good. Their own tireless tracker. My, my my main problem right now is that we don't have any way to deal with things like this. Like, we just have literally mono lands. How many lands do we have in this deck? Is there like 26 lands? 25 lands. Oof, that's a lot. Especially with all these Celerans. Yeah, this just feels like bad draws here. Or maybe average draws and like... I think instead of the 25th land, I'd rather just have an Elvish Visionary. Or my dad. 
No one would rather have your dad. I don't know that. Don't I? What about cigarette company? <laughs> you know, I guess the cigarette company would would rather have your dad. That's right. I just don't even want to block this guy. It's just like, I'll just take two, man. Oh my god. This is so many lands. Hmm. Is there a way to hit? Like, and they're like out, they're out permitting us too, which is kind of funny. Yeah, they're outvaluing us for sure. I almost like seasoned pyromancer because it just adds bodies to the board for, um, for warp world. I also like Corsair of Crufix. What are our three drops? Goblin Rival Master? I mean, I, think I, I honestly think like Season Pyromancer or Corsair of Crufix might be better just because they're giving you lands as well. Nailed it. One, two, three, four, five. Um, let's just get wooded and wooded. Sure, I'll use the SOAZ yield. I'll just be like, black, white. All the Mike B's in his... So they have a mountain in hand, we know that. What is this? <laughs> oh, okay. That's going to be the game. I'm going to assume the top card is a, a Warp World. Are you guys ready? Siege Gang Commander. That would have still been good. Okay. Let's go over here. I don't love Rabble Master. I, I like it, but I don't love it. Yeah, I'd rather have Legionnaire. Well, you mean Legion War Boss, but yeah, yeah. I mean like the problem is more that like it's an aggressive creature in a deck where you're not trying to be aggressive. You're just trying to amass value. And like Season Pyromancer is great because it like lets you discard excess like Arbor Elves or you know, whatever you have. I don't think I have Season Pyromancer, so I'm gonna have to borrow these from Manatraders.com. If you guys are interested. I also shave a land. I feel like you can shave a land. I also think Elvish Visionary is um, a four of. And it makes me want to actually play like a lore scale Kotal. Like it almost, I'm almost like, is there a way we can get blue in the deck so we can play a war lower scale cut? Like, I mean, Warp World is. I actually, I'm better. I'm feeling more comfortable at playing a fourth Warp World if we have Season Pyromancer. People who say things like "just play Ponza," like you're actually you're not understanding the concept of of what we're doing. Like, we're not trying to play that deck. We're trying. We're not trying to play a red green deck that wins its matches through land destruction, right? Like that's. They're two totally different decks. Is that what Ponza is? You're a Ponza. I only have three Warp Worlds. I have to go buy a Warp World. That's unreal. I don't know if you really want to play four of that. Uh, how easy would you say? I literally just entered the cards. I entered the cards I needed into Mana Traders. Then they open a trade with you like this. And then you hit accept. And then the cards you want to borrow are right there. And you take them, and then you submit the trade. And then you, well, you know, whenever they, whenever they confirm, you have your cards. What'd you say to me? You said you really want a fourth warp world. I mean, we haven't hit it once. So it's kind expensive, of expensive, though. Right, but then you discard it to the season pyromancer. You know, that's what I mean. Like, that's Pyrancer makes makes the fourth Warp World world less of a liability. And now I'm done. Now I have... 
Um, so I haven't found the usage in barring limits to be restrictive because I have the the sponsored the sponsored account. So like mine are less let's say restricted, obviously. <coughs> but one crater hoof is interesting, but it doesn't give haste, right? This crater hoof doesn't give your guys haste, does it? No. It just has haste itself. Correct. Is that true? Mm-hmm. I want to make sure. Here's your dragon trample and get plus. No, okay. So like, yeah. So like, if you warp world into a crater hoof, it's the only one going to be attacking. It could get real big, but if it doesn't, you're just like, all right, I'll attack you for seven. Uh, what is this? Point oh oh seven. Point oh oh five. I was so close. Yeah, Ogre Battle Driver does the same thing, except it's it's giving your other creatures haste, right? So if you have enough creatures that Crater Hoof wins, then hitting Ogre Battle Driver is just going to do the same thing. I would add one more of these. I would cut these guys for Seasoned. Plus, like, Seasoned just digs us. Like, we just want to be digging, I think. Rabble Master, like, it's so easy for those guys to get blocked in this format. Like, oh, oh you know, one land. I'll shave your face. I don't know if I like Besaju. I think it's a sideboard card. Mm, take one Damping Sphere out, because I think Blood Moon and Damping Sphere are doing very similar things. Um, We do need another Visionary, but like we put the Warp World in instead. <coughs> I think this is actually fine. Let's try it like this for now. <coughs> take it easy. Don't try not to die. Or do, because I'm not sure what that would do for views. If I died on stream, yeah, it wouldn't be that amazing. I'd just be like, uh. "You just be like, what? <laughs> wow, that's insane!" All the dancers you'd be like, "Is Mike dead?" My and, then you, and then you put my, your hand on my neck, and there's no pulse. And you're like, "Well, he's dead." Wow, we had a good run, guys. I almost like Courser more than Tracker. Really? I feel like Tracker can get you a lot of cards. I feel like it did a great job last game. It just kept dying. Is there another tutor like Gamble to get War World? I don't think so. There is no Gamble in this format, you maniac. Besides, Gamble reads, search your library for a card, put that Dis card into the discard graveyard. Discard that card. Acidic Slime? No, Acidic Slime doesn't do what we want. We want something early. Oh my god, what's happening? I totally forgot that was a legal card. Oh god, I'm freaking out. Hey man, did you, uh... Did you grill up that Whopper today? Uh, yeah, I grilled it up. Nice. I fired up the grill and, uh... Then I ate it. Oh, see, look, now we're talking. Oh, we could play a Kessig Wolf run. That would be kind of juicy. Would it? Why? Because it's a nice one-up for prime time, you boy. I mean, we had to cut a land. It's not like we're substituting for Besage you. No, but we could easily play that. Tell me more, tell me more. Over, like, a single rootbound crag or something? I don't know. They killed my Lotus Cobra. They're gonna put in a thing. Do 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 do. I think I just have to play this and not die. Do you know if there are any more cubes coming up? I really enjoy watching. Yeah, there's literally the modern cube is up right now. We did a modern cube today. Let's get Lotus Cobra. Oh no, it's a big stick. A big stick? Yeah. I mean, this is a pretty... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 to 4. I feel like they're outvaluing us, too. These fetch lines have been nice for these for this Lotus Cobra, though. Lotus Cobra. So we're going to play a land. Because no matter what we do, we're going to have to do that. So we're going to go green. 
You can tap this, go Lotus Cobra, and then you get one, two, three mana. Or we can just play this. Next turn we can crack this, play Primeval Titan, if we don't die. We're probably dead. I don't know, they still need like, um... You know that that card they play. Yeah, With man. The artifacts get plus one, plus one. No, you're right. Yeah, they they totally need that card. That card, you know what I mean. That card. I totally know it. The the mask of the mask of the phantasm. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> yeah, that one. Yeah, that one's sick. That was also the name of my emo band back in in the early two thousands. Wow, that's a deep cut. Yeah, bro. Mask of the phantasm. One, two, three. How do we not die? We block here, and then they put all the counters on this idiot. One, two, yeah, we're just totally dead. Like, we actually, there's no way to survive this, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. We actually have seven mana, which is the really sad part. Although Warp Ward would even do anything here. I mean, well, it depends on the permanents they hit. They could hit literal shit. So could we. True. So we have four, five, six. I guess I was I was one off, so Ask them to concede question mark? That's a good tactic. Might work. I mean, like, it's possible if we don't die, if they really royally bluff the bl blumming up. These are just words I'm blumming saying. Blumming up. Blumming up. Blum blum blumming up. No. Oh wait, hold on, I get triggers? Oh yes. Yes. Red. Okay. Yes, red. Okay. Yes, red. Okay. Yes, red. <laughs> the old whoever has the least Pro Tour top eights has to concede. That's a good strategy. Um, I don't. Oh no. Oh, I have to get rid of that now. I feel bad about. Wait, my... do you have to? Yeah, it's not a main. Photos of me. No, 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 no. Oh, and uh, do, 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 do. Now they know what we're doing. Does that matter? I don't know, man. I just work here. I do. I just oh, work here. That's very. My jammy jube. You're my jammy jube? My jammy jube. What's wrong with you? What isn't wrong with me, man? Jesus, that's the better the, question. the question. What isn't wrong with you? I got a small mouth. There it is. There's the winner. Skull Clamp? No, that's not the name of it. It's called Brain Brain Helmet. Brain Helmet? <laughs> Alright, so Blood Moons and Rex Sages come in for sure. Can take out... Take out one RB Elf. One Utopia Sprawl. Two pyromancers, an eternal witness, and one warp world. <clears throat> I like your glasses, man. Thanks, man. You're looking really bougie right now. That's nice, dude. Wow, you look like. You look so, you look amazing. What? <laughs> what did you just say, dude? You hear me? You freaking weirdo! What did you say? I said. Taco Taco Burrito Burrito My Chocolate Flavored Kisses? Yeah. You know about that? Bro. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> you ain't never heard that song? No. I don't think anyone has heard that song. From South Park. Oh, well then. Taco Taco Burrito Burrito. <laughs> okay, so if we go... 
this guy. We can play a visionary. I don't think we're super concerned with this guy just yet. I do like getting visionary out and drawing a card. See? Yeah, that's J-Lo. See? He knows. Mm, you know, I don't think it is. I'm really having doubts here, guys. All right, Season Power Mance is being good so far, so we can discard this Warp World because it's super early. And hit lands. Taco, taco, body, oh, see, that's that's a card we're going to Rex Sage. But it doesn't matter because they have shit. Cranial plating, that's what it was. Yeah. So now we Rex Sage this thing. Excuse me, sir. Do you know how fast you were going? In the game? I almost want to season Pyromancer here because if we do that first and we hit a fetch land, we can actually cast the Rex Sage still. And we really have to advance our board here. Otherwise, we're dying. So I'm going to get rid of Warp World and probably Tireless Tracker. We did not hit a fetch land, we hit a regular sad old ass land. Just saved it. I don't want to save it because I don't want to like. Like, we can still cast this. I'm fine with it. Taco Flavored Kisses by Jennifer Lopez. Wow. <laughs> wow. Boy, let me tell you something. Cranial plating is... Hell of a drug. It's a hell of a drug. What if they forget the welding jar? They, they didn't. Yeah, I'll use the ability. Taco, taco, burrito, burrito. Oh, God, affinity is a hell of a thing. Whoa. Is that, that the end? Put a counter on Ravager, put a counter on Ravager. That's four, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's pretty close. I think we'd go to I think we go to one here if they if they chose to go all in because they would sack this this is a two two sack this this is a two two they sack this to put two counters sack this to put two counters this would be an eleven thousand well it also loses for the other artifacts to go away for the artifacts to go away all those far artifacts to go away one two three four artifact I wish we had one more mana here because again. If we did, well, I guess they could just sack two permanents and put them on here. So there's really no way around this this ridiculous vault scourge. Sammy, what's going on? We went 2-1 in that cube. Um, Waiting the... for tonight. Oh, oh. Whoa. This doesn't even do anything, unfortunately, because we have one mana left over after we crack the clue. Snake? I don't know what that means. What are you saying right now? He's warning you about snakes. Snakes are pretty scary. Yeah. You're darn tootin'. Looking like a snake. I mean, so far the problem has been not ramping fast enough. And troubling permanence. I wonder if Oracle Multile is an option. Yeah, Snake adds mana, which is why we have six, which is why when we have a Siege Gang Commander, we don't have enough to pop as well. Probably the Oracle is like, it's four mana and dies to Lightning Bolt. Take Kai, good games, good games. Um, unfortunately, Welding Jar, unfortunately, Welding Jar. What'd you say, what dies to Lightning Bolt, Oracle? Yeah. Let's try Corsair instead of Tireless. Stoneforge Mystic is a hell of a card. Just added to this deck. Same deck, just a Stoneforge. <laughs> Same deck. All right, let's do it. Hop on in. I wanna hop on in. Do -do 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 didn't the OG version play Abundant Growth, Blood Raid Elf, and Knuckle V? What's Knuckle V? Knuckle V. All right, Knuckle V. What's Knuckle V? Big Nucks. 
Oh wow, this is weird. I didn't think I wasn't expecting this. Oh god, this is terrifying. What is it? They're a horse-like demon from Arcadian mythology that combines equine and human elements. I didn't know that was a real thing outside of magic. Uh, is it just N? Yeah, this this ugly, hideous thing. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, you may return a red sorcery card from your graveyard so you can get back Warp World. Uh, uh, or you can return a blue instant card. So we're going to keep this hand. Yeah, it is just worse than Eternal Witness, but... Knuckle V if you buckle V, that's what I always say. <coughs> shut up. Two people made that joke. Shut up. Okay? Just shut up, Michael. You can't, man. I've got the sneeze, and you can't help that. Next time, tell me when you're going to sneeze. I'll hold your nose closed. That will explode, Frank. <laughs> Everybody knows that. Someone blessed you. Thank now you're you. never going to... Now you'll never die. Thank you. Isn't that how blessings work? I guess so. I don't know, man. Where are we eating? I don't know. I asked you that and you didn't know. Crap. That's the ever that's the ever eternal question. Did you say crabs? Yeah, crabs, man. Let's go get some crabs. Some dungeonous crabs. <laughs> what kind of crabs in the dungeons? Yeah, the dungeon crabs. Something good. Oh, alright, that's okay. Waiting for two mice. Crab is a nice sweet meat, you know. Just like milk. Milk is a tasty meat. I Crab's got a nice sweet flavor to it. A nice sweetie boy flavor? Mm -hmm. hmm. I've never seen this deck played anywhere else. Me and a friend brewed it back in a large standard. How how frequently have you been updating it? Have you been playing it personally? Eat hedron crabs. Hmm. Hey look, another Stoneforge deck. Gee willies, this is sure a theme. I mean the card's very good. There's your Rex Sage. Are there any creatures that kill, like, that lightning bolt or shock on the way in? Yes. What are they? That costs three or less. Let's say that costs three, three or less so I can Ooh, deal with Stoneforge. I don't think so. Yeah, three or less is Oof. a bit of a tall bridge. A tall bridge? Red Cap, Red Cap costs four. That costs four, though. Like, they're going to be able to play this and put it into play before we could ever cast a Red Cap. Why not eat at that pasta place? What well, is a pasta place? What pasta place? You gotta be more I don't know. specific, I think man. He's drunk. Sammy, are you drunk, buddy? Do you need an adult? Do we just play Do Eternal you Witness need here? An adult? Probably, because we want it on board. Do you need an adulty? Michael, shut the fuck up. Okay, you know. Okay, you know. Yeah, Hulk no. Hogan's Pasta Mania. Yeah, I love that place. Oh, that's a delicious one, brother. They got really good fettuccine there. What'd they get? B skull? God, they always get. What if they unban Stone Fortress and then ban Batter Skull? That'd be gas, right? That'd be pretty funny. They posted about this matchup? They posted about the Warp World matchup? <laughs> that a matchup you really gotta worry about? That seems that seems weird. Inferno Titan's good. Unfortunately, again, not really three or less. This is a this is a, this is something. They did this on main phase. They just put this guy in many phase. Many phase. Man, if did they put it in during their many phase? Their manage phase. I'm one away from this primal titan. So if we can just dodge something murderous next turn. I'm one away from the manage phase. Are you talking about your mayonnaise face? Yeah. You're so fucking weird. I can't even what? handle like no one in the chat knows how weird he is right now because he's sitting here, he's got the glasses on, his hand is under the desk, and the fidget spinner is just spinning. Like it's such a weird picture where it's just like he looks like a crazy person. He looks like he's one of those Man, homeless. I am guys. a crazy person. He looks like a, a legit homeless person who's like, hey, this is my fidget spinner. I look hey, at my man. crazy glasses. I got some good threads on. They're not dirty or nothing. Oh boy. Speaking of which, I gotta Hulk do laundry. Boy. Speaking of which, I gotta do laundry. Apparently, Hulk Hogan had the option to endorse Pasta Mania or a home grill. He chose pasta, and the grill went to George Foreman. Hmm. Wow. Like you do. How do I smell? Like a human. 
smells like hot trash, guys. That's what the alien would say that was invading. I smell like a human. Mm-hmm. Hot trash. Wow. In the city. I mean, this is never resolving, right? Well, I mean, I do drink trash juice, so, you know, it gets... smelly like percolates. Percolate, percolate, percolate. Did they just try to counter your primal time with that? That doesn't work like that, man. <laughs> I don't understand what's it's happening four right or less, now. right? <clears throat> um, I mean, I guess if they're trying to really get the beats on. A bold strategy, Cotton. I don't think you know. I'm actually just going to get lands here because I don't feel like cracking. Oh, you're going to get lands there? I God, why did I say it like that? I meant uh, not fetch lands. Not fetch lands, yeah. yeah. You know what I meant. You don't want to take an extra two? Yeah, I'm not going to... Right. Although, you can purposely not crack fetch lands to keep your permanents high. Or I can crack them and keep them equally as high. Well, it depends on how many lands you got left in your deck, you know? They're like, I'm going to drop this guy because I know your warp world. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have ten mana. It's pretty good. I guess we attack first. Make sure we get them other twos. Felipe is doing something with the dishes. Yeah. Oh, they're going to kill my snappy boy. The more things they do, the more I feel good about this warp world, I'll be honest with you. The heat is on. The heat is on. Path to exile, huh? Well, see you later. So we're going to take four, five, six, seven. That's a lot. I guess we can take seven and then warp all the way. They have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, I guess we take six then instead. They have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. That seems better. Oh, God, we can't do both, right? 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We have 13 mana, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Oh, my God, we can do both? No. No. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, Boom. 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 8, 9, wow. And three red and two red. Yeah, oh wow, that's insane. It's finally happening. Oh, this spicy boy. I mean, if they have Pact of Negation in hand. Force of Negation? Whatever the hell that thing's called. That would be sad face. Boop. <clears throat> Here we go. Force of negation. Come on. Don't do it to us. Don't do it. Don't you do it. Just have a soul and let me resolve this thing. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, look at this board. Oh, would you like to pay two life? No. Oh, I think we, I think we came out ahead here. Do you oh think? <laughs> my god holy jesus say green click it on you wow 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 and you're gonna be able to cast a primeval titan here all right so i guess we're stacking all these bad boys look how much life we're gaining oh jesus wow two uh Two siege gangs, huh? Holy Jesus. Um, I'm gonna stick this guy first because we're gonna have to discard Spell Queller, huh? That's a good one. Alright, so Stoneforge comes in, you get a card. Jeez. That's weird. I can't make it I can just make it taller, but I can't make it thinner. That's strange. Uh, 
Okay, well, we're going to have to discard Primeval Titan. We're going to draw two. So we get a guy. Drew a, drew a card from that guy. Play this guy. Discard. We'll just discard two lands here. For two more lands. Siege Gang makes guys. Man, the Ogre Battle Driver would have been nutso in the buttso here. Oh, that would have been game. Okay, always yield to this guy. And then it's like, well, it's your turn now. Uh, let's always yes and always yield. So we're going to go red, 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 green. Uh, we're going to go shoot this guy so you can't do any shenanigans. Did we play a land this turn? Yes, we did. I forgot this was the same turn. Well, we can shuffle away. Get this guy. Oh! That's, that's nice. Let's get a red for that guy as well. Gain two more life. I feel like we're doing good in here. I'm just going to pass. I'm going to leave the Warp World on top. I feel like that's better for us. Uh-oh. I think he's got a Wrath. Do you? Well, he paid two life, so... But then you already have two white? Oh, yeah. I guess he just really wanted to spreading seize you. Got there. Got him. All right. Nailed it. Rex Sage seems... Oh, well, I guess that was... <laughs> What's that? What's that about? I guess they were frustrated that we won. That's weird. What a weird thing to do. All right. Well... I mean, if you want to play on... I mean, like... That's the best part about modern is that it's nonsense. Like, I love that about modern, that it's all nonsense. Like, you can do whatever you want. Yeah, these seem good. I don't think we need any other specific changes yet. Really? You didn't see that as a rage quit? Like, I mean... The deck is pretty fragile. Like, you just have to deal with Warp World, right? Like, it's not like... Oh, this hand is rough. Guess I'll keep it. You can keep that, man? Are you being serious right now? God, it's like I don't even know you. Thank you! Don't ever talk to me like that again. Water Sports Drew, we have three stream. Wow, it's 27 months, dude. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Man, that guy's you. catching up to me. Uh, <laughs> all right. Let's get... Uh, I guess we'll get a... Nah. No, I just want to get a forest. I mean... It's it a rage because like, we're in the middle of sideboarding, right? Like, And you're just like, no, I don't want to play it anymore. I don't know, like... I don't. You don't have to be going off on someone in the chat to rage quit. Those are not synonymous. Like, ba, ba, da, ba, ba. synonymous. No, most of the time people rage quit by by letting you wait for ten minutes and being inactive and they don't say anything. Like, it's totally fine. I don't know it's, whether it was a rage quit or not. I don't. I don't. I don't know. But I mean, like, it doesn't. It just seem weird. That's all. It's not not a rage quit just because they weren't saying anything. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
The problem with playing Pyromancer is we have to discard both of these, and they're both very, very good. So I don't actually think I want to play Pyromancer here, to be honest with you. I think I'm just going to pass. And then we have one, two, three, four, five. If we can get another fetch land, I think it'd be actually... I think we just Warp World, right? <laughs> for one, two, three, four, five. Warp World for five! I mean, well, I guess we'd just Primeval Titan. Any land lets us Primeval Titan, right? Because this is one, two, three, four, five, six for the land. Any land would be very good for prime time. Sammy, have a good night, buddy. Look at this photograph. What photograph? You know the one. The one that always makes me laugh. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> this is three out of four Stone Forge matches. It's popular, you think, huh? It's popular, you think, huh? Um, do I want to actually just season pyromancer oh, or discard this trident of lands? No, because then Minna. I have to discard one of these two, and I don't want to. Minna Minnesota. Minna Minnesota. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, the double warp world. So oh, that was a good time. Oh boy. I guess we're just passing here. Let's get an attack in there. I actually don't want to attack. They because they, they got the cheap one, they could just cast it. Um. And they might not have a problem blocking with Stone Forge, whereas Lotus Cobra is very, very good for us here. Minna, Minnesota. <laughs> you like that? Huh? No, I don't. <laughs> but you're singing it. Okay, now I'm feeling good about this season, Pyromancer. Minna Minnesota. <laughs> Michael Sweet, Michael Bees. Let's get a red. Go to the sky. Pyromancario. Pyromancario. Mansario. Why do you look so weird when you do that? Yeah, see? I don't even notice it. That's weird. Maybe you're seeing something that I'm not. Let's get rid of Seagems and Warpums. Oh, this is great. Yes. This is great. Green Corsadio. How'd you play so many things? Just feels good, Burrow. That's crazy. I'm man. living the dream, Michael. Clearly. You ever lived the dream before, Michael? Every now and then. You'll never live it again. Why do you say that? You know why. I don't. Oh, yeah. Get in there. Get in there, Cobra. Cobra. Sort of Feast and Famine is less scary now that we have these red bodies. Cobra. Let me see those red bodies. Unless they have batter skull in hand already. But that's still fine. I got tons of blockers. Sort of a feast and Famino. I think people are going to quickly realize that Stoneforge is a great card, but it's not like it's not super broken or anything. Sweet Michael B's on Michael B lives in the sea. It's true. That is where I live. Also, uh, one or two colony gardens in this deck might be super interesting because then you can search them out with Primeval Titan. And if you hit them with Warp World, there's more bodies. That was also a card that I think was in the old Warp World decks. How you doing over there, man? What's our food? What's our food, Michael? I don't know, man. Where can we go? What time does Little Italy close? Because I'll just go get some pizza, dude. I think it's 11. I think they're closed late, yeah. Oh, man. Oh, Julian's a little late in Dunedin? Is this a... They close soon. Little Italy, St. Pete. Close at 10? Dang it. Oh, we're not getting there in time. You gonna deliver? Don't want to order jets again? No. No, I don't. 
Not after that fiasco. What are they lightning helix? My Lotus Cobra? Oh. That's worse then. Well, that's unfortunate. Are they are they ghosting? How did they how did they know that? How did they Thank know to you. do that? Your mana base belongs to us. Thanks so much for the resub, buddy. Been a long day, week, months. I'm glad to see you, Frank. Warming world, no less. Thanks so much, man. Really appreciate it. Hope your day, week, and month improve. Dang it. Dang it. I'm so discouraged now. I thought it was 11. Why do you keep lightning helix in my guys? Is this only as a sorcery? Oh, no, it's not. Oh, that's gasoline. Oh, I'm still going to try to electrolyze these two. You ready? Take it to the limit. Michael B. Rosin on the highway. <clears throat> Tickle me pink. I'd rather not. Tickle me pink. Bless me. Bless you. Bless everybody. Bless me, Father, for I have sinned. Have you? Yeah. What, what was your sin? Being a little scumbag? Yeah. Being a little scumbag. L little scumbag. Wasn't, little it your rap wasn't a little scummy your rapper name? Yeah. Just typical. A little scummy on your mummy. Wow. That sounds just terrible. God, we're at 20 life. Yeah, because Stoneblade is a tempo card, right? So most Stoneblade decks are tempo decks because that's just a... I mean, I think they're, they're, like, there's Stoneblades in the control decks too. It's all just kind of... Take me to the river. No. Take oh. yourself to the stupid river. I'm not your dad. What are you feeling like? Give me a genre of food that sounds good. Okay, I just can't even get an answer out of you. I was thinking, man. No, you were making stupid buff duck face. I was... Yeah, I was going to make a joke. I, you're right. <laughs> I can't lie. Uh, let's see. We just had Indian. You don't really want Mexican, right? Not really, no. Um, Belly's basically just Italian, right? And barbecue? Italian and barbecue. And barbecue's closed. What about wings? Wings? Yeah, the varsity place. I think they're open late. You want wings? Yeah. Oh, they're going to rest out here? Oh, this is great. We are going to warp the shit out of these people. Holiday's Corral was open. I think they're also 10. But if they're 11, I'm totally game for that. But you said, no, 10. Dang it. All right, give me them lands. I could order something cheaper, Corral's, but they're closed. So it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. And nothing else matters. You boys eat some greens, okay? You need vitamins and nutrients. <laughs> Forget the meats. Go for the spaghetti. I mean, spaghetti isn't really very nutritious. Spaghetti! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine mana. I know Taco Bell's open late, but that's Mexican, so. Show me. We're just gonna sound. be forced to eat a Hungry Howie's. I mean, we're gonna warp world here, so. One, two. Do we play a land this turn? Yeah, I think we played it off the tippity top. So wait, we can play this. We can play Lotus Cobra, crack this, and then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, let's do that. Lotums McCobrams. Please have something to get. Okay, thank God. Uh, it's fine, whatever you want to do. You can do whatever you like. Mm -hmm. 
red just in case. One, two, do, 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 do. A scoot, do, 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 do. Let's see the magic happen. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, green. Crick auras to attach them, this guy. Wow. Holy God. Um, is there any way, what's the way to put the counters on the triggers on the stack at the same time, guys? I like how you're doing it super randomly. That's good. Because it doesn't matter. Oh, there were so many more that I didn't even see. I don't know if I do want to warp world again. I'm pretty sure I just win here, right? I mean, this ogre battle master is like just killing him, right? Coward! Oh, I'm in post combat. He's right. That's very sad. Always yield to ogre battle master. Always yield to this, to this, and to this. I don't care about any of these things. You can right click a single stack. Oh, well, that's good to know. Um, okay, I always yield to that guy again. This, you got a witness in here, all right, sure. Discard two cards, we'll get two gentlemen, I guess. Now I'll just get one gentleman. Oh, Siege Gang Commander, that's pretty good. How many lands did they get? Two, so I don't have to worry about Wrath of God? Yes. This should be always yes, and always yield. Always yes, always yes. Oh man, this is, this is something, man. It's always yes, I said. Red. Maybe because they're three different Lotus Cobras? I don't know, red. Yes, green, green. Okay, you're always yes as well. Okay, now they should all be accounted for, so I should just be able to click the colors. There they go, they figured it out. They're like, hey, okay, here you go. We have only, God, we only have 18 mana. So nine, I guess we're just gonna play this guy. Jesus, crying out loud. I'm so sorry, everyone watching. All the grants is in Mike's grant. Hey, you can warp world again. Don't do it. Are you serious? Why would you do it? Because I'm not a coward, Michael. Oh my god. <laughs> You're just going to win next turn. There's no reason. They might get a better board. Uh, would you like to pay two? Yeah, you know what? I'm at 29. This is just painful, dude. Look at this. Come on, there has to be a way to, to put this on the stack automatically, right? Where'd the stack go? Oh, oh, that's bottom of the library, dang it. I was like, oh, please. I. Oh, it's doing things. Okay. Oh, 
But I just want it to auto stack anyway. Oh my god. My. <laughs> oh, Jesus, guys. Our opponent's like, oh, come on, please, dude. <laughs> oh, crying out loud. I'm sorry, but only a little bit. This is incredible. <laughs> okay. It's like, all right, man, I've had enough. Uh, I appreciate your concession, my dude. This guy's probably like, I'm going to concede the match as well, just to be clear. Wow. Their meta base seems pretty bad to Blood Moon, to be honest. I don't even remember what they are playing. I was like, just guy? Maybe they're like, we'll see. We'll see if we can get them. Maybe they don't win here. <laughs> That was ridiculous. Remember, next time, if you can, you want to do the attacking after the Orb World. Well, I wanted to get the triggers from the stupid... the guy, you know? The prime time? Yeah. Because I got two more lands, which is just two more two more dudes, you know? Two more permies. That's true. <sighs> God, Katie's still at work. Jesus. That's insane. Yeah, because she goes in at like she went at like six this morning. Her time's a couple hours behind, right? Yeah, so it's it's only seven p.m. there, but she's on. She's still eleven hours, twelve it's, hours. It's still ridiculous, yeah. And she's like, "I'm on call, and there's a procedure that's about to go." And I'm like, "Oh god." Yeah, that's pretty ridiculous. This hand has no forests. We have to get forests, but I think. I think Blood Moon actually might just absolutely Shrek them. Because all their lands were non-basics in game one. Any fetch land, we're just going to fetch a forest. The big thing is there's no non-permanents besides Warp World. They make more permanents. Perforous was in the older version. Oh, they got a batter skull this time. Well, that's worse. I don't know why they didn't get that game one. Come on, fetch land into a forest. Yes. Yes. So next we can go Utopia Sprawl onto that. All the dancers in my bees gonna be. I mean, they could actually spell color this, but... Oh, they're just going to pay costs here? What is this? What's happening right now? Teferi? Oh, that's really insane. Oh, that feels... Oh, they can just bounce the Blood Moon now. That's pretty sad. Right? Return to one artifact, creature, or enchantment. Yeah, then they have to use their turn on that. Well, not really. They just bounce it with this guy. It doesn't really use any turn. You Is know, that minus I mean? one or minus two? It's minus three. So they just bounce Blood Moon and then... It's either Corsa or Blood Moon now. Ah, this, is, this is a stupid play. Eh, whatever. Gotta use it, I guess. You know what they say. Use it or lose it. Did they say that? Yeah. Why does this deck need Valakut, though? Warp Worlding into Valakut is pretty good, I hear. You said what? Warp Worlding into Valakut seems pretty good. 
but we never had five mountains in play. At no point did we ever have five mountains in we play. We could adjust the mana base. But why would you do that? Like, CG and Commander on its own would have just killed them. I also, we get so. to replay this next turn, and they still don't have any basics, so... And now their Tefri can't bounce it again, so... Attack us. Come at me, bro. Come at me, bro. I've got spurs that jingle, jingle, jingle. Mm -hmm, go merrily along. Oh, Michael B. Lives in the trees. When there's something, something, something in the trees. Yeah, the Varsity Club is up until midnight. Pay two. All right. Yeah, sure. I'm going to hit that Tefri because you're going to equip this guy. They didn't put Batter Skull into play, they put Sword of Feast and Famine? That seems worse considering that, like. What are you going to cast, man? Nothing. They have five mountains right now. This guy doesn't do anything. I mean, like, they can equip this and, like, untap their five mountains again. I guess they could just cast a Batter Skull. But, I mean, it's not that impressive when we're going to prime time next turn. I've got spurs and jingle, jingle, jingle. <coughs> I'd appreciate it if you keep your spurs down, sir. No, they jingle and they jangle, Michael. We could also just play Siege Gang and then just have infinite blockers for this. Either way, I think we're discarding Courser here. It seems like the weakest link in terms of cards in hand. Look at all these mountains they got now. Batter Skull. Yep. Seems good. Or, you know, average. <sighs> Michael B. He lives up in the tree. It's true. I do live up yeah, in the trees. Yeah, we're just prime timing here. Like, they can only attack us with one dude. Uh, I don't really care about blocking. Like, I don't know. It's not really that exciting to me. Let's just get forest. Stomping ground. Plus, I'd rather have the mana to activate Siege Gang next turn. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So if we hit a land, we can actually activate twice, which kills Teferi. Or just kills Batter Skull or Siege Stoneforge Mystic, which is good. Keep it down, man. I can't. <sighs> I gotta let it out. Did you say you gotta let it out? <laughs> what? Just singing a song, man. Don't worry about it. I, I am worried about it, though. So they just have six mountains in play? That's insane. Uh, I'm going to discard Siege Gang because it's just worse than an Eternal Witness here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have eight mana. So we could technically... Oh, does that do anything? No. 
<laughs> I'm just saying he lives in a tree. <laughs> uh, yeah, like the Tefri, we just need to keep Tefri off. Um, I'm tempted to attack with Primeval Tank, but it doesn't get by this guy. One, two. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, five for Siege Gang. If we played Lotus Cobra, we can get two more mana from this guy and shoot Teferi in blocks. But, like, this is a problem, I think. So we're actually going to kill this guy so they don't get their mana back. Ain't no mana bangers in a round of the right now. I would have loved to have one more land so we can actually sacrifice the creature that blocks so that they don't get a million, but... can you do? I think we're in fine shape here. Mm. They have six mountains. They can't do anything. We're literally, like, we just have to deal with what's on board. Yeah, but what do we, how do we deal with that Jeremy boy? We literally can shoot it three times next turn, and then they have no batter skull and no sword guy. I mean, it's not ideal, but... That shooty? We got another siege gang in here. We got another turn one of siege gang. We can block this guy forever. We literally have like six turns of blocking. Yeah, but we want to like minimize how many turns they get. Yikes. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think it's just the turn out in a siege gang here. As much as I'd love Arbor Elf Lotus. Actually, we can wait because we still have a guy. No, because next turn we're going to need two mana to shoot Tefri or else he just goes off. So, yeah, we're going to go Eternal Witness. Get back, CG boy. All right. Man, the vigilance in the lifelink is, is pretty brutal. Man, this is grindy. It's okay, they're only at 36. All right, that was pretty good. Should have played Lotus Cobra first. It's okay. It's okay. Now you just kill the better skull and attack with the prime time. Just that actually theory. seems pretty decent. Trample over on that to ferry, get him dead. So one, two, three, four, five. So we can definitely Lotus Cobra here. Thank you. Kirkland Signature, welcome back, buddy. Thanks so much for the resub. Oh. Oh yes. Really appreciate it. Which one is Kirkland Signature? Who is that? Who are you? I don't know which Kirkland that is. Uh, clue of his signature. That's so smart. Well, I know it's a draft boy. I just don't know which one. Okay, so... Yes. Let's get Wooded and Forest. Uh, always yes to this dude and always yield. Red. Green. Can I get a boy? 
Oh, uh, yeah, that's fine. We're going to do it all, so. And Teferi should be, uh, you know, decently dead here. Oh, they didn't bounce their batter skull? That's weird. Agreed. They might just want to equip it, but then I'm, I got news for them. Hmm. No, I don't think so. No, sir, I don't like it. I'd like you to say goodnight. Snickerdoodles are delicious, man. You ain't kidding. Oh, we just win that match. What are we, like 2-2 two -two now? I think so. This deck is uh, sweet. All right, I'm just going to play it. I'm just going to jump in because this guy's in here, and then we'll and then we'll do an evaluation, and we'll call it because then we can got to get some food. Some Snickerdoodles, perhaps. No. Why not? No. You don't like Snickerdoodle snacks? Oh, what time is Dunedin Brewery open until? Ooh, that's a good idea. Yeah, that sounds delicious. They close at 1 a.m. I like it. Uh-oh. I mean, this hand is great, though. This hand is great. Let's go get a basic forest, because I ain't crazy. Let's say red. If we play Pyromancer next turn, it seems like it could be decent, right? We have no life gain in the main deck is the problem, so we just can't... We're just not going to be able to outrace Burn. We're just going to have to put in Obstinate Baylos and hope we draw all three of them. <sighs> wow, they just burned my face. Don't know much about burning face. No, 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 no. Oh, Corsair Perfix is also an option. That's a good card, too. I did not draw said Corsair of Crufix. Don't know much about Michael B. But I know he lives in the tree. Uh, let's go just play this. We could have actually Utopia Sprawl. Pull up for RC Utopia Sprawl. Get an extra mana. But I, I think we're fine like this just getting rid of these guys. So next time we can play both of these things. It seems good. You doing okay? Hmm? Are you doing okay? Yeah. Are your eyes okay? They are now. Is your face okay? Did your mouth get any bigger since the beginning of the stream? All right, so we're at six. That seems good. We're probably going to live now. Yeah, I think my mouth grew a little bit, yeah. That's sick, dude. Wow, they drew three lightning bolts and a scare. That's 12 damage for four mana. If, if there was a card in Magic that said for four mana you deal 12 damage, like, everyone would play it, right? <laughs> <laughs> So they're lightning bolt, lightning bolt, lightning bolt. Scare the critic, scare the critic. Skewer. One, two, three, four, six, seven, nine, seven. That's 15 damage. And I guess I took one from my own wooded foothills. That's 16. So they just 17, 18, 19. This. Plus the one attack, yeah. For the first attack on the, yeah, 20. Yeah, that's 20 damage. Hi, yay, 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 yay. Oh, ley lines. Oh, ley lines, too. too. That's yeah. nice. Let's bring Assuming them. we hit it in the opener. All right, so we can get rid of a cobra, a cobra, an arbor elf, or arbor elf, because those are pretty sensitive guys. They're sensitive boys, eh? Tell me. I don't <laughs> think we're gonna. Actually, we can probably get rid of some warp worlds too. Well, now we're at fifty nine, so he probably just put the creature back in. It's fine. Don't know much about Mike Gooby. <laughs> <laughs> I like it when you get the song stuck in your head that I sing, but then you sing them with your name in them, because that's funny. Oh, Jesus. That's not a keep, man? <sighs> this is more of a keep. Oh, 
I just know he lives in the trees. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. Now ley lines are dead draws. No, they're not. We got Lotus Cobra. Oh, yeah. I guess it's possible. Yeah, the why'd you fetch question is funny. Because it's like, okay, so if I didn't fetch, I'd be at one life. And despite the fact that we'd be alive technically, I don't think it really would make a difference. We need a fundraiser for Mike's mouth transplant surgery. Let's get him a primo yapper. <laughs> wow. Do you think, do you ever wake up and you're like, I would have, I would live a much more happy, fulfilling life if I had a bigger mouth? Do you ever say that? All the time, man. I'm so sorry, man. No, oh, man, wax lips are cheap. Oh, I like this fetch land now because we can see what we can get. And if it's like a warp world on top. Why is there a lightning bolt in the graveyard? Because they killed our Arbor Elf. Season Pyromancer? Oh. Actually, I'm going to keep that. Oh, my name is Michael B. Lava Spike, huh? All right, this guy. Utopia Sprowl. Well, I sprawl you what? Oh, yeah. Boop. Boop. Are they attacking? Boop. Boop. Do I just take two? You snap it off. I think you take two. I think the potential life we can gain from this guy is higher. And there's no way he doesn't have an answer to it if we block. Right, that's why we're, yeah, there's no way he's gonna, gonna just chug on in there. That's fascinating. Hmm. Okay. So I have two cards in hand. I'm feeling okay about it. Okay. So let's Pyromancario. Uh, we can actually do this. But I kind of want to discard that. Right? Yeah. Uh, that makes sense. I think discarding these two is fine, and then we still have Eternal Witness. Because ideally we're going to draw lands here. Or at least have a land on top. So we have three hits to see lands. One, two. Oh, Jesus. Are you serious? Our draws were Leyline, Other Leyline, Lotus Cobra. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> ah! Ah! I'm dying. I'm fucking dead here. That's hilarious. That's amazing. Oh, boy. That's amazing, dude. We have three ley lines in the deck. We have probably 22 lands left in the deck. No, that's not accurate. We have 19 lands left in the deck. And of course... Jesus Christ. This is ridiculous. Their draws have also been very good. Oh, they just didn't attack, though. Why did they attack with it? It's weird. This seems ridiculous. Just get a land? Yeah, literally just get a land. Even if we crack it out, it doesn't matter because we play land for the turn. Man, another season of Pyromancer would be great. Lava spike number... <laughs> like lava spike number four, dude. Oh, man. It's okay, you just drew quads. No big deal. It's okay, it's only 12 damage, guys. Sometimes I, I watch people play Burn and I'm like, why wouldn't I just not play this deck? I 
I mean, might as well go to two here, right? Chuck. I, I would I would cry. Oh wow, that was a great draw. Does that keep us alive? Do we get to go Cobra into into, into fetch into Leyline? That's super relevant here. Is this real? Yes. White. Crack it. And we can get another stomping ground because we don't need the mana. Would you like to pay two life? God, no. <laughs> um, always yes. Always yield. White again. You still got a mountain to climb, but... Wait, what? Oh, for one? Sure. I mean, that's fine. This guy's outlived his usefulness. You should have done that at the beginning. You saw I had two ley lines. Like, it was literally revealed off of the thing. So now we have... Oh, boy, that's really good. They can't target us and they can't break through here. Uh, please be quiet. Uh, no, I will not pay two life. Dang it. All right, we're a four now. <laughs> okay, now we play the waiting game where we just, just can't wait for a return. Uh, some kind of world world or something. Some kind of it. Oh, that's, that's pretty annoying. That is annoying. I think that hurts them more than us. They have no cards in hand. All of our cards are relatively expensive. All of our good cards, like Primeval Titan, Siege Gang. Hmm. That's not a bad draw. It's not a bad draw. We're probably going to play this and then... Oh, well, we take two, right? Yeah, I want to play land each turn so I can... Well, we'll take two to play it, but our land will gain us two life, so we won't actually lose anything. I wish I had some creatures I can get through. Like, we can't attack with any red guys because Core Firewalker just blocks them, but we can't really attack with the green guys, too, because then this gets blocked here, and this guy, they'll just kill this guy. They'll snap kill this guy. So we go to three, and they can't target us, and then we gain two, so we go back up. Wow, this is ridiculous. I'm just going to have six here. Like, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have eight lands, so, like, theoretically... Warp World is a little scary, though, because we're taking our Ley Line off the board. We could just hit it again, though. Could. Oh, boy. Chippity chop. But this is funny because this is probably the most permanence a red deck has ever had against anyone, ever. Casting this Ley Line was the difference. The problem is they also have zero cards in hand, so, like... We're getting like a thousand permanents. They're getting not a thousand permanents, and we're at a oh they just they're just losing permanents left and right now. One two three four five six. One two three four five six to six. All right, so now it's six to seven. They gain two, take three. Seems good. Plus your lands. Don't forget about that. Oh, I'm just talking about blocking. I want to make sure we don't die this turn. And they play the land. Well, dang it. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. To one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Also, the thing is, like, if we warp world and hit like coursers and another ley line, like, it's just pretty ridiculous. If we hit coursers and all, and any amount of lands, it's pretty good too. The library is behind that. Oh, I mean, it's just barely. And I think you mean the left, not yeah. There you go. You figured. You got it. Oh, I was really hoping that would be another land. You probably still do it. Do we just do it? I think so. They have no cards in hand, so it's not like they can they can burn us in response. Right. And we're getting 15 cards off the top. Our whole deck is permanence. This is not a coward's dream. 
You got it. Gain your life. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. One Courser, two Bayloths. Oh, that's good. Jesus. All of these are gone. They get... Oh, yeah. Nope. Oh, yeah. This just ended. This just ended. One, two, three. Three of these are fetches. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Two of Courser, though. So. This is 14 life. So we're going to 19. We also got a Primeval Titan. Lotus Cobra, so we can just cast this Ley Line in hand. Holy Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Why are we playing this? Oh, Primeval Titan nets us two more life. Remember, Mike was like, I don't know if we want to do it. Okay, we just... Alright, they, they, they conceded. They were like, you know what? You got it. And I was like, you know what? I do. I think the board plan is still fine. I think so, too. I like one more Lotus Cobra. Wow. Over. That was satisfying, man. I don't know. Maybe nothing. I think we're good. I think it's good. I think it's fine. We'll do it. Eesh. Nope. Not good enough. Yep. Good enough. What? You could have started that with him play. Oh my god. That was what I meant to do. I thought it was I thought it was asking me to like put your your first game things in play. I didn't think it was oh, asking me to mulligan. No. Oh, wow, that's rough. We just got London indeed. That's insane. Cause it's always like Magic Online is always like take your first turn actions and then like you click on Leyline and puts it into play. Wow. I hope that doesn't cost the game. I mean, it 100% will. I would much rather have, like, a, a one less fetch land than for, to have a ley line in play. That's in, that's insane. I mean, we have two courses. The game's not necessarily over. But that was pretty They're good. just going to crack this and go Searing Blaze on this because it would be the nuts. And then we're not going to have turn two courser. And, uh... The second target is not controlled by the first... Oh, they just literally misclicked on this. Yeah, so everything is everything is happening. The nuts. Say green, stomping ground. Oh, well, I mean we're still fine. Course our next turn into land is good. A two goblin guy. It's great. It's okay, man. They're just feeding our courser. Look, they just drew two. Oh, what a sucker. Could have named White with uh, Utopia Sprawl, actually. God, this game would be so over for the other one. We'll be at 12, because they couldn't have cast either of these. Now we're kind of forced to block, too. Oh, yeah, for sure. But that's fine. We got another courser. There's no way I'm not blocking. Wow, that ley line would be insane. I can't believe that misclick, dude. Here comes another searing blaze, because they always have it. Yep. It's un <laughs> unbelievable. Wow. And, and just gonna finally... Have a stupid bolt. Yeah, yeah there yep. you go. Fantastic. That was a fun match. I had a good time. Thank you for misclicking Magic Online. It even asked me. It said done. Like, it's not even the game's fault. Like I'm just used to something. To do, I'm just used to it doing something else. We, we would have had a nine extra life there. Nine right. extra life. Yeah, I mean, like it was just our fault for for not for not reading. I guess. I mean, I'm not gonna blame the client. Like it literally said done, and I'm like, yeah, of course I'm done. It's clearly in play. I didn't even look. I just instinctual. Because if you play Magic Online for 20 years, it's instinct. You know. Yeah, usually it asks you to put the ley lines in first. But I do like Season Pyromancer in the deck. I do like Corsair of Crufix in the deck. I think they give you a lot of card advantage and card selection. Um, Season Pyromancer is great because it also um, gives you two more bodies. And you don't have to attack with them. They're great for blocking, especially because you're trying to survive with this deck. And um, Adam, thank you so much for letting me play this deck. Really appreciate it. This was actually a blast. I'm glad we finally got around to playing it. And uh, even if we lost that last game, I'm pretty sure we could have... I'm pretty sure we could have won that yeah. game. If we actually just put the ley line in play correctly, um, it only took a year. Yeah, but it's good. 
it's good times. Um, yeah, this deck was sweet, and um, I think we ended up going two three, but I feel like we went three two. And if you guys want to have your own decks critiqued or taken a look at, and we're gonna have we have a good time with them, uh, definitely check out the links in the description below. You can email me at frank at franklaport.com and let me know what you think. And uh, thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on coolstuffinc.com, on patreon.com slash franklapore, at manatraders.com, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. You can find all those links and all those promo codes in the description below, so be sure to check that out. And I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching, guys.